Book of Mormon means a lot of things to me. It's the musical I've been most excited about to work on, but I also grew up in Arizona where it was a very prevalent religion in my community, so I come from a place of respect as well as admiration and wonder for the spirit of the religion and the imaginations of Matt, Trey, and Bobby. The beauty of the very first thing that confronts you when you walk in the theater, the the the, um, the planets and the, the drops that Scott did, they're so much prettier than I expected our set to be. You know, this is a comedy, this is really broad. There's something cartoonish about it. But I think the set deepens it. I wanted to use a temple proscenium as a viewfinder for the show because it's important to see it as it's intended, through this religious eye, but also that it becomes almost a pageant stage for the show. And I think the frame as a device and as a, a kind of scenic element, it has a great personality itself. It's kind of lit throughout the show and it changes its temperature and tone. You know, it begins in a world where everything is kind of fresh and perfect. The image that I was sharing with my collaborators was as if everything was lit with fluorescence with a pink gel on top of it. So kind of perfect, clean, squeaky, artificial, but not saturated. Just shadowless is a good word, kind of unreal in that way. The initial approach, I think, is based in the structure of the musical. And the structure of the musical, to me, it has this love of great American musical theater history. And my approach was to begin with that expectation and, and to start the show visually where we're in Utah and have it be kind of sparkling and, and, and crisp and blue and bright and really utilize the idea of the American theater. The design for the American theater is based on this construct of vaudeville where you have wings and drops and things like that and things fly in and out. And to kind of start with that idea as an expectation for the audience. And then once we get to the place where Josh and Andrew move to Uganda for their mission, the whole concept and the conceit is kind of turned on its head.